Hello everyone, my name is Chin Valdez, and while playing the version 1.1 story quest, we actually gained access to Chang Li's full kit. So we're able to take a sneak peek at Chang Li's full kit including the scalings on her skills, her sequences, without having to rely on leaks. So what's interesting in version 1.1 is we can now see their actual combat roles here. So it says here that Chang Li is a main damage dealer. She has resonance skill damage, amplification for both fusion and resonance liberation damage, and also the scalings for her skills. So the main thing that you have to understand with Chang Li is she enters a true cycle state so majority of the time you're going to be entering through sight through her basic attack for on the ground or basic attack for in midair but when you use her intro she will appear automatically in midair and immediately enters the true sight state so with this there are a few things that you could do you could continue your midair basic attack and end up using through sight charge in which case your next basic attack would be another plunging attack but your next basic attack will immediately put you into basic attack three all you have to do is press basic attack one more time to enter through sight once more which will then give you access to through sight conquest again so why is it important to use through sight conquest through sight charge because these things will give you a stack of her passive on her forte circuit and her forte circuit at full stacks gives you access to flaming sacrifice which has pretty high damage scaling, just slightly less than her resonance liberation. So there are only three ways that Chang Li can get stacks on her forte circuit. So that's by doing her true sight attack on the ground, her true sight attack in the air, and she immediately gains four stacks of her forte circuit after using her ultimate or her resonance liberation. As much as possible, you'd always want to have four stacks on her forte circuit so that you can spam her enhanced heavy attack, the Flaming Sacrifice, which has the potential to out DPS her resonance liberation depending on how many times you're able to dish this out in her rotation. And to do that, you'll have to get up to 4 stacks as fast as you can. So starting off with your initial rotation, assuming you don't have energy on your resonance liberation just yet, you come in with your intro, you will be in mid-air, you continue on with your mid-air basic attacks all the way until basic attack 4, in which case your basic attack afterwards will let you use through sight charge in midair. After using through sight charge, your next basic attack will have you perform a plunging attack, which will put you on the ground and immediately put you into basic attack three. Continuing your basic attacks on the ground will put you back into basic attack four, and then you'll be able to use through sight conquest. So, with everything that I just said, gives you two stacks of her forte circuit. But her resonance skill also has two charges. So after her first through sight conquest on the ground, you can actually go for her resonance skill, which puts you back into through sight and also allows you to go straight into through sight conquest again. So now you have three stacks of your forte circuit. Now using your second charge of your resonance skill, puts you back into through sight and using basic attack again, lets you use through sight conquest again which now gives you a total of four stacks of your forte circuit, which allows you to use one of her harder hitting attacks, the flaming sacrifice. So it will look something like this. Intro into basic attack in the air. Through side charge, plunge attack. Through side conquest, resonance skill, through side conquest. We oh got. So just pretend we're in combat. Uh, we don't actually gain the stacks if we're not hitting anything. So pretend this is an intro skill. So we intro into Chang Li. Chang Li does her basic attack in the air. Through side charge, plunge attack. Through side conquest, resonance skill. Through side conquest, resonance skill. Through side conquest. So if we were actually hitting a target, that would have given us four charges on her 40 circuit, in which case you would be doing her enhanced heavy attack, which is flaming sacrifice 
So that would be more or less her bread and butter attack combination for her initial rotation. Assuming you don't have your resonance liberation just yet and you're still building energy, you know, like for your team and nobody has their ults yet. So we intro into Chang Li, two side charge, resonance liberation, flaming sacrifice, resonance skill, through side conquest, resonance skill, through side conquest, mid air attacks, mid air attacks. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? All right, so the story boss actually died <laughs> before we could pull off like her entire combo. But more or less, like you, you would get the idea, right? Like of how, of how her kit works. So it's not too difficult. It's actually quite simple after you get the hang of it. You'll just need like a bit of muscle memory. So we intro into Chang Li. So at this point, when we intro into Chang Li, we actually have a choice whether to go straight into her true side charge, in which case you will be doing more damage or you just allow her to drop to the ground. I don't think you actually uh, uh, can do anything else in the air other than true side charge immediately. I have tried plunge attacking and it still goes into true side charge instead. So it's either you go through side charge or you just drop to the ground. Because apparently it does say in the skill description that you can use your resonance liberation in the air. But for some reason, I'm not able to. I think it's because of her intro animation. So we're not able to cancel her intro animation with her resonance liberation. So it's either you go into charge or you allow it to drop. But you know, like for more DPS overall, you kind of go into the charge instead anyway. Blue side charge, resonance liberation, flaming sacrifice, resonance skill, blue side conquest, resonance skill, blue side conquest, mid air attacks. At this point, you actually already have full concerto energy. So you actually have your choice now if you want to swap into your main DPS if you're using Chanli as a sub DPS or you want to reset your rotation like if you're running hyper carry Chanli and you probably have Verena on or something or Baiji then you can swap into Baiji but at this point we already have our concerto energy. Assuming that the boss is still alive or not attacking or like you have an open window, you could be continuing your mid-air attacks. Continuing your mid-air attacks would put you into true sight again and then you use true sight charge which will give you another stack of your forte circuit. And then your plunge attack which puts you into basic attack 3. Continuing the combo will put you into true sight again and then give you your fourth charge after using true sight conquest. In which case you will be able to use flaming sacrifice once again all of which and regardless you would be at full concerto energy already and you'd pretty much swap out after that there wouldn't be any point in continuing changli on field you probably already lost your buffs from your sub dps may it be tao chi or uh, janshin or whoever your sub dps is probably lost your buffs already from the moonlit set now from the heron echo skill so normally you would want to restart your rotation restart your rotation or continue your rotation into your main dps if changli is your sub dps but regardless you will be swapping out probably even end with your echo skill and then swap cancel that so this was just more or less a quick peek into chang li's kit we didn't have much time to actually tinker around with her or practice or play with her or anything like that because the boss did die so her kit isn't too complicated after learning what everything actually does it's all a matter of knowing when and where to use it what we showed was just more or less the straightforward combination of what we could do but of course, you will always be adapting to the situation and one move might be better for that particular situation or the other. Whether you focus on getting your true sight charge or your true sight conquest and even the two charges of your resonance skill and all of which your main focus is to get four stacks on your 40 circuit so you'd be able to use flaming sacrifice. Stay tuned for more of our Chang Li videos. So she will be released, I think, on the 22nd of July. In which case, we will be pulling for her and her weapon. And we'll be making more videos on her as we go along. So if you enjoy the content, consider liking and subscribing.
I stream every day on twitch.tv slash chinvaldez. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on our new videos. Hope to see you all on the next one. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of zooming in. The camera zooming in in all the right places.